are hydrophobic liquids with fabulous fragrance which are extracted from plants. Trees like cinnamon and citronella, flowers like lavender and rose, plants like clove and pepper are used in extraction of essential oils. In this documentary of capturing the essential oils industry in Sri Lanka, we are concentrating only on cinnamon and citronella industries. Sri Lanka is world famous for production of spices from the ancient times. Cinnamon is renowned among Sri Lankan spice products. Ceylon cinnamon has its own identity thanks to its native cinnamon plant. Ptolemy included Sri Lanka in his world map due to its prominence of cinnamon in Europe. Its botanical name Cinnamomum silanisum revealed the tropical island's link. Early travelers from all around the world came to Sri Lanka searching for world-renowned Ceylon cinnamon. More than 5,000 years ago in Egypt, medics of Peros used cinnamon to preserve mummies of their masters. Peros imported cinnamon from Ceylon. Based on the Old Testament in the Bible, it is believed that Ceylon cinnamon was used in Palace of King Solomon. Western travelers like Ibn Battuta, Marco Polo, and Vartema had praised the quality of Ceylon cinnamon in their records. Ceylon cinnamon traveled to Middle East by sea and to Europe by silk route. Herodotus, the revered historian, placed Ceylon cinnamon in his records. Nero, the Roman emperor, respected his wife by using Ceylon cinnamon as fragrance at her funeral. The recognition of Ceylon through cinnamon brought our country good fortunes and bad consequences. The Europeans waged war with each other to gain the cinnamon monopoly, changing the political direction of the country. The monopoly of cinnamon trade held by Arabs until the end of 15th century is now being challenged by Europeans. Therefore. The Europeans, who had no idea about the world map, tried to find a sea route to Asia. Columbus, Magellan, Bartholomew, and Vasco da Gama pioneered this campaign with the patronage of Henry, the navigator of Portugal. With the blessings of Pope Nicholas V, Vasco da Gama was the first to sail to Goa in India via Point de Good Hope. Then in 1505, Lorenzo de Almeida, who was looking for cinnamon, landed in Sri Lanka. By this, cinnamon monopoly fell on King of Portugal. To maintain the cinnamon monopoly, Portuguese started a fierce colonial war with our kings for around 150 years. Then Dutch get to know about the enormous profit from cinnamon. The Dutch East India Company, the so-called VOC of Holland, challenged Portuguese by the mid-17th century. 
the maritime stronghold of Portuguese was completely crushed down by the VOC company. Then Sri Lanka became a Dutch colony managed by a company. By the end of 18th century, the East India Company of England waged a war against Dutch and once again Sri Lanka became a trade colony of an English company. In 1815, English East India Company made Sri Lanka a trade colony of the British. In 1833, English Parliament liberalized the cinnamon trade. From the times of European colonization to this date, we produce nearly 90% of world cinnamon demand as raw materials. Cinnamon is the biggest export revenue generating native plant in Sri Lanka. Though cinnamon can be found in most parts of Sri Lanka, it is grown as cash crop only in southern and western provinces. A well-maintained cinnamon plantation can yield twice a year. This requires service of professional army of cinnamon peelers to collect the harvest. The peelers cut matured cinnamon trees from the cinnamon bushes. Then the twigs and leaves are removed from the tree. These sticks are collected, tied and carried to Cinnamon Vardia. The twigs and leaves are collected and after a short post-harvest preparation are bundled into big stacks. This process of gathering is called Ahurugehima. Then they are taken to the traditional oil plants which is known as Telmadu for the distillation.
kurun juga heng, kita ampura mana yang kolej ini minyak kolej ini no, kurun tanah minyak kurun tanah belanda, kurun katte tanah no, ek ek yang ni kurun juga heng, agak yang ni kicim mau dia kene. Nek ni ada kerana saman ni, yang ni dah ini susu dah la kuliah kalau bandar no, kalau bandar ni la, jenah la ni heng, wadi ni dah la, kebawah sela, yang ni kalau ni baju ni tu dah no. Still, we are using primitive traditional techniques to produce oil from cinnamon leaves in Sri Lanka. About seven big stacks of leaves are pushed hard by feet into the distillation column. The distillation column is called as Kolahatya. Sealing of this traditional distillation column is done by paste in mud. Steam is supplied to the distillation column by a very simple primitive boiler like this. The extracted leaves of a previous process are used as fuel in the boiler for the next round of extraction. The steam entering from the bottom of the distillation column goes through the tightly stacked leaves. Here the cinnamon oil extracts into the steam. Then the steam travels through the condenser. In these traditional plants, condenser is a pipeline running through a water tank. The cool down steam is taken to the gravity settler. Here the separation of oil from water take place by taking use of the difference of gravities of water and oil. It is very important to use the standard equipment for the separation. If not, the chemicals contained in the containers or the equipments will affect the quality of the end product. This will tarnish the quality image of Sri Lankan cinnamon oils which will eventually see the demand going down and hence the price. We call this process steam distillation in chemical and process engineering.
මේක අවුරුදු 100ක් විතර පැරණි කර්මාන්තයක් මේක ලංකාවට විතරක් ආවෙනික වෙච්ච වෙන කිසිම ලෝකයේ කිසිම රටකින් අපිට තරඟයක් නොකරන කර්මාන්තයක් මේ කර්මාන්තේ මේක දිනු කරගත්තොත් අපිට අපේ රටට ලොකු ලාභයක් ලැබෙනවා In addition oil is extracted from cinnamon bark as well Trees after twigs and leaves are removed are carried to cinnamon wadia Peelers hold the stick in one hand and works with other hand with katta along the stick to remove all the knots To ease the scraping, the stick is rubbed with a copper rod. Then with an aid of a knife, the outer cocky tissue layer from the sticks is scraped. The scrape tissue is classified as outer covers and harms. The peelers call them pitaleli and podi. This process is known as kurundu thalima. <laughs> <laughs> 